as is Dr. Mukesh Tiwari. This is Nadi, he is a golden retriever, four years old dog. And uh, Honor is complaining that his bullying uh, is uh, his abdomen is getting uh, large since last few days, the last two weeks. Uh, so we have shaved the hair, as you can visualize, uh, his um, uh, abdomen is uh, quite a large. That is, uh, some fluid is there, and that could be a case of a scientist. Now I'll do the sonography so to rule out the possibility. Uh, this is the urinary bladder. Uh, by the side of the bladder, you can see the fluids, accumulation of fluid. So, and uh, these are the intestine which are floating here in the fluid. This is the left kidney. And the kidney, there is no fluid. By the side of this, there is fluid. This black portion is fluid. This is the spleen. Can you visualize? Now go ahead. By the side of this, this there is fluid accumulation. In front of the spleen, there is fluid accumulation. This is all is fluid, cytic fluid. These are the liver lobes floating in the fluid. There is the right kidney because of the pressure, after pressure it goes on the upper side. It's tough to visualize the right kidney because of pressure of the fluid. This is all the liver lobe, this is the ball bladder. You can see the ball bladder between the liver lobes. In that case of ascites. So now I'll collect the uh, uh, sciatic fluid uh, by paracentesis uh, to uh, examine the fluid. The paracentesis was uh, shaved the ears properly, then uh, clean with the spread and beat it. I'm demonstrating you how to collect the fluid by paracentesis. I'll use the team for detail. I'll see the fluid with the sonography, then I will start a needle. I'm collecting the fluid. I'm showing how to collect the fluid. There is the cytic fluid which is coming out. I have punctured uh, uh, with the help of sonography. Clear transparent uh, cytic fluid is coming out. If there is any malignancy of TB, then chances of blood is there, then the color of fluid will be pinkish or red. There might be blood clots if there is any. Uh, trauma and taking some fluid out to give uh, some relief
it is transparent and uh, not turbid so i don't think this is a um, infectious peritonitis and even you can see it is very clear there is no chai i have taken out about uh, 300 to 400 ml acidic fluid and now i'll take the needle out and after taking the needle out you have to apply some antiseptic uh, with this fluid i'll uh, uh, just estimate the well a total protein in this uh, total albumin and uh, glucose cytology and if well as needed i'll do the culture so these are the reports of uh, nori uh, now i'll uh, estimate uh, the sag value for the nori and uh, uh, for sag value as i have told you that i have to subtract the acidic uh, fluid uh, albumin from the serum albumin and uh, for nori serum albumin is 1.8 and uh, acidic fluid albumin is 0.5 so after subtracting uh, 1.5 uh, from 1.8 the value obtained is 1.3 so the sag value for the nori is greater than 1.1 so uh, here we can conclude that the ascites in nori is due to the portal hypertension and portal hypertension as i have told you that it is because of main two reasons one is the uh, liver cirrhosis second one is the right side or left side cardiac failure so now i have to rule out whether this is because of the cardiac problem or because of the liver problem here the total protein values come from the nori it is 1.3 and it is less than 2.5 so uh, it is clear that in nori uh, the ascites is due to the liver failure and for the cardiac problem uh, the, the total protein value should be more than 2. Point. so as i have told you that uh, uh, not even the side is due to the liver problem that is not because of the cardiac problem but to rule out the possibility of cardiac issue I have taken the chest x-ray of uh, 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 the, this uh, golden retriever Nori and uh, this is the chest x-ray in x-ray you can see it is a lateral view in, in this you can see the cardiac size is normal it is between the three rib spaces and uh, there is no cardiac effusion there is no pleural effusion and this is the acidic fluid and uh, trachea uh, is also very clear in the x-ray so uh, yeah, it is also clear from the x-ray that there is no cardiac problem uh, in this dog so the final diagnosis as I have earlier told that it is because of the liver problem so now I treat the liver issue and for treating the liver I use uh, uh, adenosyl and, uh, um, uh, and silivin combination and this, along with this I use some diuretics like uh, furosemides to uh, treat the fluid accumulated in the abdominal cavity and uh, to improve the circulatory volume we can give some fluid therapy also so this was a case presentation of a side and a golden retriever dog hope this dog will recover soon and uh, this video will be helpful for you thank you thank you very much